This is a short video about how you get into um, a Maxtor external hard drive. This is quite an old one. And we'll have a quick look to see what precisely the model is. The camera will zoom in on it. There we go. So it's 160 gigabyte which dates it. It's a Maxtor Basics portable storage. And the part number is 9NX2A4-500. And there's the serial number. So it's quite an old one. When you plug it in, it shows up as a drive. But when you click the icon, you can't get at the files. So for all intents and purposes, it's broken. But we'll see if we can open it up and the data might not be lost so you'll need a knife. If you look at the back there's one, two, three, four little rubber feet stuff it sliding about. There's no screws under those feet. There are also no screws anywhere else so how do you get into it? Well there's the USB socket. You push the knife into the edge and generally just abuse it. It's sort of teased out. You have to use quite a lot of force in order to pop the little plastic connectors. But once you've done it it kind of lifts up and again don't be afraid to use a bit of force for this because you're going to have to in order to get the thing apart it's a bit annoying that they didn't make it screw based but with a bit of perseverance and a bit of care it comes apart like that. I'll just retrieve that bit that's fallen on the floor. That bit just fell off. So here's the actual drive itself. So once you've cracked open the clips, it comes out quite easily. There's one, two, three, four little rubber grommets that hold it in place. Move the knife out of the way. There's a little USB circuit board behind there. This drive here, we can just see what it says. Can't really zoom in. There we go. It's a Seagate. Uh, it's got a date code on it 08206. I'll look that up and put that in the description so we can see precisely how old it is. But we'll need a screwdriver. So I'll get me a little wear out. There's two screws on the side there, which we'll just take out. One on that side, one on that side. And there's two screws underneath. They're all the same size screws, so you don't need to worry about looking after them too closely. And then this bit here has got a little catch on it. So we'll get the knife, lift up that side. And we'll get the knife on this side, lift up that. And that comes off. And there's the little circuit board there. And there's a tiny screw there which I'm going to need a different end for because it's a much smaller screw than the other ones so let's change the end we'll put that in there and unscrew that screw and that is obviously a very special screw so we'll keep that safe now again, don't be afraid we're going to need to use a knife just to tease the drive 
up and then it should come out. You have to be a little bit careful because that pokes through that hole. And that is the little SATA to USP interface that's built into it. And there's the actual drive completely out. On this particular one, um, I bet this drive is absolutely fine. Um, so if you've got one of these and you think you've lost your data, you probably haven't. Take it apart, now you know how. Disconnect the little USB, started to USB interface circuitry, because that's probably what's broken. Plug that into a caddy or another machine and you've recovered your data. Um, any questions, any comments, stick them in the comments. Um, hope the video is helpful and thanks a lot for watching. Bye.